Table three? Okay, is this table three right here? Oh, this is really nice. Oh, hey, hey guys, what's up? Really nice in here. They have like complimentary drinks, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> Big pour. Big tall pour. This is really nice. I like what you guys have done the place. Uh, you really do just let anybody in here. I'm on a date with Eula today. Hopefully, she told me she would show up again, but she, you know, you know her. Who's Eula? Oh, she's uh the the girl I love, and she's real. Pass you the menu. Hold on, let me. Uh, we have first off, hot man, uh, specialty ass. Is Lisa twerking on the table? Wee oui, wee. Oui. Let us begin. Show me her. Show me her. Long, long ago, there was a place in the desert called Bottle Land. Bottle Land. Mm -hmm. <gasps> you wanted to learn more about Bottle Land? Sorry. I left that place long ago. Did I do that in public? But I still clearly remember its beautiful sights, even to this day. You love. Whenever travelers ask me how to travel to Bottle Land, I warn them that the desert is a very dangerous place. Are you real? Despite the risks, there will always be enthusiastic newcomers who venture into the desert. Ha <laughs> ha! The Ether. treasures of Bottle Land are as good as mine! I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> what a slow thing down here. I with magic like that. Now I can't find my way back home. Clee bomb the in the desert. The desert entices people with hope. But it devours that hope from the moment they step foot within its scorching domain. But that magic bottle can bring forth an okay. endless and refreshing spring, revitalizing the hopes that had shriveled in the yeah, air. I'm pretty sure this desert. is a mirage. My dear weary traveler, <laughs> go in the desert. Why do you wish to enter the desert? Are you so determined to find Bottle Land? I'm trying to find you, love. All right, I will help you then. Okay, this seems like a very like dramatic narrative for a bottle. She's so solid and tough, but <gasps> so like an ice cube. She's so real. She's able to dance anytime and anywhere she wishes. <sighs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Do it. Do Please, it. Quick, get in the light. Come in. Do the thing. Wait, what? That is adorable, bro. Kaya can be the fastest. Please outfit. Oh Stop my god! Kaya outfit! Dude, Kaya outfit was unexpected. As the caretaker and your mascot, I shall announce I like the your music. respective adventure duties. This is pretty high. Okay, this is some really fun music. You know Yula's gonna have some big move here in a minute. Dude, everybody drink to this. This is hype. Okay, some wave rider activities. I could care less for that. Look at that huge tent. This is a big carnival. This is Disney World. <laughs> you have experience being on stage? Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on you. This is the carnival. I can't stand that feeling. Dude, I love that. I wish she got an outfit too, Loki. I'm just glad she's back. Really good track. These days and can't take you out to play. But there's good news. Your mom's never coming home, Clee. friend who has very kindly invited you to visit her. Did you just say visit her? As in we're gonna see Alice? No, a friend will visit her. Oh, a friend will come babysit. <laughs> oh, there's money, by the way. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Let's the Genshin go. Impact version 3.8 special program. <laughs> Some really cool start. I like this one. <laughs> I'm your host, Zach Aguilar, the voice of Ether. Tanjiro. And as always, I'm joined by some very special guests today. Hello, everybody. A new character. I'm Poonam Basu, and I voice Spark Night Clean. The Knights of Favonius. <laughs> She's a cute voice, bro. She's so cute. Oh. Hello, everyone. I am Risa May, the Cock. voice of Watatsumi Island's divine priestess, Sangonomiya Kokomi. I think Kokomi's a must pull for me, too. Low key. <laughs> and I am Susie Young, the voice of the captain of the reconnaissance company and the spindrift knight, Eula. 
Vengeance will be mine. <sighs> Feels good. Ooh. I'm waiting for them to make a joke about her being gone for so long. I know they're going to do it. Uh, I'm super <laughs> excited to have you all on the program today. And I believe this is the first time we've had Risa and Susie with us. <gasps> oh, yay! Oh. I get to be Mini Eula. <laughs> They're so cute. I've always wanted to I be I really like her chibi. Oh, my God. Yes. Like, her legs are super long. I'm so well, I'm glad She's to have all you leg. both here this time. Uh, we have an interesting format for today's special program. We'll be taking on some acting roles as we explore a mysterious ancient desert nation known as Bottleland. Bottleland. And in this process, we'll be revealing upcoming content for the new version. Please note that these special roles are not the characters we play in Genshin Impact, but just for the setting of our story. I was gonna story. say, they seem I'm like they're so playing out some narrative in so the intro. What are everybody's roles? I'll be playing a treasure-seeking adventurer in the desert. Well, that's just true, but you're I'm like a mage who left Bottle Land. So fitting. <laughs> a mage who left Bottle Land. And guess what? I'll be a knight from Bottle Land. <laughs> I'll be real. <laughs> and I'll be a guide from Bottle Land. <laughs> okay. Right. It's just the four wait, of them. Wait a second. How come I'm the only one not from Bottle Land? Outlander, your journey ends here. No! Uh, I'm not one. invited. Oh. What? <laughs> I guess I'm just kidding. Girls only club okay. boys. Okay, good. <laughs> and this fairy tale game has a game master. Let's welcome. Hey everyone, I'm Rachel Kimsey, and I'm the voice of Mage Alice. I'll be telling the fairy tale with you. Oh, wow. Yes. Now, Mom. let's begin exploring the first act of our story. Mage the Alice. Mage's magic. Oh, oh Jesus, uh, dude! So are, are we starting already? Yep. She sounds so Let's much see like what Lisa. The fairy tale will reveal first, and action. That voice actress sounds amazing. Holy shit! The exact location of Bottleland can't be found on any map. Its very existence can be difficult to prove. But I know of a mage who once used her magic powers to leave Bottleland. Hmm. The little mage was practicing her magic as the this grand is be mage clear, had right? instructed. As usual, she started slacking off during her practice. She already knew the grand mage's magic tomes from cover to cover, and she stumbled on some strange incantations in the newer Little books. mage. Teleportation magic? <laughs> oh, oh, I want to visit every kingdom that I read about in the storybook. So I'm going to blow it the all up. The little mage was very brave and confident. She could teleport. It's so over. she was not afraid of venturing out on her own. In fact, she believed that the bad guys were the ones who should be afraid of her. That's fair. After taking a few moments to compose herself, she began to recite the new magic spells she had just learned. I'm <laughs> Can you imagine? She just... The god of fortune was imagine? evidently looking after her. Without even knowing her destination, the little bottle land mage left her home. This is really wow, cute. It really worked! Amazing! <laughs> the little mage seemed like a child in a candy shop with an endless amount of mora in her pocket. She was excited Walking. to try all the different incantations she found, as if they were different flavors of candy. Divination magic? <laughs> when spring water drops Bring the dead back to life? Clear, into the future one may peer. Oh, this is just what I need. The little mage simply believed be the last that one to need all this, man. That were foretold in the prophecy. All right. Let's look at what the bottle foresees. Show I love the background music here, too. This adventure. Sounds like a Toy Story soundtrack. Oh, it looks like the info oh, in the upcoming event wishes has appeared. There we go. Wow. Come on in. Come on in, Eula. In the Sit first down. Part of version 3.8, Klee and Eula She's will be returning back. with their own event wishes. Wow, this is a good oh, set of banners. I'm so happy that Klee's back, you guys. Oh my gosh. Are you happy Klee's back? And now I'm back with a vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> I hope yeah. they talk about how long it's been since she's been here. Uh, okay. Well, besides us, no who memes. Else can we expect for the next <laughs> new cryo character? Well, looks like for the next part of version 3.8, we'll have returning event wishes. Coco me. Coco me. Wanderer. No genre. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this will be the Dang. perfect chance to hang out with some old friends. It's like we just Ooh. had a wanderer. Okay, speaking of hangouts. Kaya will get his very okay. own hangout event in version 3.8. Has he ever had one? Nice. <laughs> Never? Nice. I love Kaya. These hangout events are great. I'm for surprised to know Scar more about already. Kaya. I don't know. Kaya definitely has always been quite the mysterious guy. Hat guy returns. Guy. So mm -hmm. I'm super curious as to what 
will get to learn about him. <laughs> Kaya hanging event actually oh, might be one of the best the if it's really good. Because he's so deep in the lore. Here it goes. Salfit, ready? Damn. It's such a good colorway of blues. I like how her vision is on the top of her hat. This has got to be exactly what Alice looks like too, you know? She's just the mini version now. Dang, that's adorable. Yeah, it's very Sumeru. Come on, let's sneak off on Very Jerby. Nobody else can know. I feel like the soundtrack has been really phenomenal for this patch. Life shame. Oh my gosh, this is a awesome starlight thing. Kaya are both getting new outfits. Oh, they look no way. so awesome. Yeah, Aladdin Kai has a really this good description. Holy crap. makes her look like a little mage. Oh, a little she mage and then Aladdin. I am so, so excited, y'all. I keep yeah. saying yeah. I really need to be old Kaya. Totally. Oh, guys, and look at Kaya. Sail, wind, shadow. So amazing. I love this. I love this for Kaya. God. Hey, wait. <laughs> That's great. Yo, I bet the style It's free. Are somehow related to version 3.8's main event story. Okay. Oh, Someone just said free in chat? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know about anybody else. Because of the event I'm story? I'm curious about what kind of events we'll see too. Me too, yes. Oh, that's yes, dope. Here. Right. You know what? Before we get to that, why don't we take a quick break and grab our second redemption code? Uh, four, skins, okay. four star skins are always free. Totally. That's awesome. Because that, that, I was going to say, if there's anybody I'm ever going to buy a skin for, it would be him. I didn't know four star skins are free. I guess Lisa was. More money, everybody. Welcome back to the version 3.8 special program. Hi, guys. We'll be continuing our story about exploring the mysterious and That's a good ancient start. place known as Bottle Land. Ooh. Our last clues came from the little mage, but I don't have any more story to share for now. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess I have something here. Uh-oh. Looks like a knight and a guide will be reunited in Bottle Land. Oh. <laughs> Spoilers, bro. Okay, then. Shall we continue our performance? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Dude, Let's she's got such a good voice. story with Act 2. Legend of the Magic Bottle. Legend of the Magic Bottle. Of course. Are they just, like, running down the whole plot? They entered Bottle Land. <laughs> Though most travelers chose to remain there, there were also some who decided they tell us to the whole story. To homelands. But their accounts of Bottle Land were all very different. If you ask me, it's been too long since I've left that place. Hmm. So these are gonna be like the mini games <clears throat> involved. Shouldn't we call it? Yeah, all like the, the different primo earners. <laughs> Welcome back, dear knight. Hopefully these mini games are unique. I saw We're something about like a, ho a roller coaster too. <laughs> uh, oh, yep, yep. a free Layla, bro! Oh, look. Lots of information to share with everybody. Oh my God. So strap in. Yep. Oh so first of all, free we have Layla. Our main event for version 3.8, which I think will I'm be almost an maxed your like cons too. Instead, it takes place inside a bottle located somewhere in the desert. Ooh. There will be many items called Dryer vouchers. Which are scattered throughout the area. Then the freeze Travelers Kaya skin too. We'll be able to collect them to obtain some rewards, yep. including <gasps> Kaya's new outfit. It looks so good. <laughs> I need yeah, this is that. a pretty big oh, win goodness. for like well, a between the desert, big I patches, kind of like patch. A variety of terrain, you think? Yeah. Uh, I hope the vouchers won't be hidden in some extremely hard to reach places. Oh man, we're gonna have to go run around with <laughs> these. Oh, I, I know, right? Uh, but Parkour. there's no need to worry, because the travelers are going to have some tools to assist them in their search. So, for example, the running right, simulator. We can use these crystals to help us locate vouchers more easily. Oh, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, bro. And in addition to collecting vouchers, Look how many there are? Many unique attractions. Ooh. Absolutely. So, first up, we have. The preprints. Hmm. The what? Well, there are streaming projectors scattered Easy crown, the least. Yeah. Mirage. It's said that if you place an object in the projector, then you can construct a corresponding item based on its original shape and the power of your imagination. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But there is a slight problem. Well, for now, it can only display certain two-dimensional objects called a preprint. Okay. Oh, this is just building a Mario level or something. <laughs> enter the world of the preprint and make some changes. 
Yeah. We've had similar things, I think, before. This is actually pretty we unique. Move straight through. We might encounter some obstacles. Ooh. Well, in that ah. case, we'll need to leave the preprint world. I hope they get really difficult, Loki. External objects to change the environment inside, <laughs> <laughs> which will then allow us to pass through. That sounds awesome. That's cool. Yeah. So you have to change it in person yeah. to yeah, change it in to it the world. Right? In well, the game. in addition to the preprints, we'll also have a fun and new way to get around. You might even be able to. Sorry, I'm blocking Eula's head. Mode. Let me. It's the, the choo choo cart. There you, go. there you guys go. Yeah, you can so see her better. Choo -choo cart, yes. Travelers can go to choo -choo this is what I wanted to see. Various areas of the Valeria Mirage to ride the car. Sorry, Kokomi, I'm blocking you. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. So I'm focusing on the it's real like character here. Baby uh -huh. amusement cart. Well, not really baby. It's <laughs> going to give me a headache. That's cute. <laughs> I can't for sure. <laughs> so, the preprints and choo choo cart we just introduced were both open world game modes. But next, we have some event mini games. Oh, okay, free money. Woo! First up is the Spinal Look at the Blaster. Fontaine outfit, bro. Ready for this, guys, we, we, a long we, we. So, its technical name is the Crocomorph Vortex based Crocodilian Armored Heavy Naval Battleship Style Recreational Water Blasting Cannon. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, that's an epic name. Bro, <laughs> just went drop god on us. Yeah, I'm surprised you Some got that. <laughs> She's like spitting. Well, apparently it said that the name is an accurate reflection of its appearance. Who named and this? Underlying principles. Aww. Apparently, that's that's what it says. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it uses stored ammunition to fire hydro bullets. Cool. That's right. Uh, okay, and a little shooter note, game. I know some of you will be concerned about this. It's all right. The hydro bullets that it fires are safe and... They're used for leisure purposes only. She's just like, we can so destroy a whole nation with this <laughs> shit. And once it's out of ammunition, it will take a certain So we will take over Fontaine. Supply. Okay. Absolutely. This is but extremely we dangerous. To, we can also manually reload it at the right opportunity. Mm -hmm. Noted. Mm -hmm. So use the camera. This is like a big Disneyland, Disney World thing. Within the time limit. Roll coasters, shooters. Yeah, there are also different types of target balls. They just copy and paste These it. These include Orden Army, Tiny Vantage, Ruhaha, Overdrive, Ooh, ha, ha. and Dual Charge Target. Ooh, ha, ha. <laughs> wow. Ruhaha. Oh, that's what I That's quite the list. <laughs> yeah, some some fun names in there, huh? <laughs> uh, so a notable projectile this is seems all right. the Overdrive Ball. So travelers can I don't really care too, too much. enhanced state, during which you will gain infinite ammo. Love and power. Infinite ammo. Also, I'll take it. Yeah, right? So, when you're so we can shoot up the all of Fontaine. State, they will cause damage in a larger AOE. Travelers will definitely have a blast with this mechanic. So, okay, give bro. it a shot. Okay, bro. <laughs> uh, Let's shoot for the so stars. Buddy. Last. <laughs> I'll be here all day. <laughs> Y'all are worse than Sino today. I guess it is Sino's so birthday next today. Up, we have Sojourns of the Barking Fox. <laughs> Travelers will have to control the Barking Fox to reach the destination within the time limit. They'll also have to collect <laughs> as many adventure coins as possible while moving the fox. <laughs> so the coins okay. are projections you can pass through? Oh, it looks so okay. great. This is my dailies. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. So this mini Another game pet, baby? Which can obstruct traveler's mm, sight. Like Dumbo, but Players smaller. We also encounter disruptor orbs, which emit disruption waves. But these disruption waves don't seem like they're dealing any real damage to us. Hmm. Yeah, thankfully not. <laughs> so these disruption waves, they won't be damaging the barking fox. Oh. They will just trigger a sensor that reduces the remaining time. Can the, the barking fox die? So if we just like, let him fall to his death? Be safe. Oh, Yay. oh no. <laughs> Sorry, I wouldn't now, do that anyways. Guess what our next mini game is. <laughs> it's called Dance of Flashing Thought. Ooh. Ooh, wow. <laughs> nice. That totally we can go twerk. sounds like a game for Eula. Oh. <laughs> right? Yeah. It sounds like a dancing event, but it's actually a combat mini game. Oh, it there's no twerking. It's place on a stage, and oh, some of the game mechanics have been inspired by theater. I love the theater. Pretty fancy, This right? is good. I like so this. Before starting, These events are really, really fun. To fit the special features of the different stages. During the I like trials. You opponents to accumulate honed will. And once you've gathered enough, you'll obtain honed focus effects. And that's what the light is. 
Oh, right. like an insta kill. Wow. They defeated all those monsters almost just with a light. Yeah. Right? Really cool, right? It seems like the movement <laughs> speed in get destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of the buffs you can get. That's pretty epic. <laughs> so epic. I love this. This is yeah, that's pretty cool. I can't wait to play this. This is like my cool. second favorite thing usually so about these patches. We have our last mini Being able to try out characters. And the theme of this mini game Bing, bang, is bot, fish ball. Drum roll. Ba -da -da -da. Pinches are the it's cutest. Sports. What? Huh? Our last <laughs> finch mini ball. game is uh. called Bing Bang Finch Ball. Amazing. So I've got a finch fact. How do you it mess this up? When some finches take flight, they'll press the tree branch down using their weight and slide down a short distance before using the rebound. Oh, because they can go out too. So oh. this cute little detail is one of the inspirations. It's for um, finch ball. what is it? Oh, yeah. Shuffleboard! You're going to be launching a certain number of finch balls. I will not order. mess up one time. Place as many finch balls as you can. <laughs> I'm going pro in finch ball. And reach the set scores to complete the challenges. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you'll need to know the differences between the various zones. Hold me so, accountable, bro. I will never mess up. If stops inside the red zone, Remember this. you'll earn four points. If it stops within a yellow zone, I'm red every single shot. Points. Every shot. And if it lands within a blue zone, it will just be... You just easy. hit yellow every time, and then yeah. the last one pushes all three of them in. The launch or however the many you have. To set the direction I think it's four, yeah. Entering the charging sequence. Release the button to launch the finch ball in the corresponding direction. <laughs> I'm gonna like not even get so, in the blue. <laughs> I know, it may sound simple, but you'll find that there's some finesse oh. to getting it right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and in addition to ordinary finch balls, that's not too hard. also have some very special types. Mm. This oh. might make it harder. Sticky finch balls and pretty finch balls. Oh, Come I finch balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, the sticky finch balls giving it a little yeah. hug. Oh, that's so cute. It's adorable, isn't it? <laughs> that might be harder. That might be harder. I can't wait to see everyone try these mini games out in version 3.8. Oh, and I still have more news. In addition to our main There's game more. Event, we also have some info yes. about upcoming events. Hoyo Fest. Hoyo Fest 2023 is just around the corner. Was well, Hoyo Fest 2022 <laughs> good? I'm so excited. <laughs> Starting in July, Hoyoverse will continue to there one? I wasn't playing. all sorts of exciting online and offline Hoyo Fest events. Whether it's Hoyo Fest exclusive merchandise, awesome offline events, and rewards both in and out of the game. We are excited to see our travelers participate. I like Paimon's outfit here, man. Travelers Imagine Paimon like had an outfit like that. These events should follow Genshin Impact's official social media channel. All right, shame. Let's plug. For more related info <laughs> in the future. Oh, heck yeah. Super excited. Says Let's shout go. out to my Twitter. <laughs> Let's go. Also, Let's go. Genshin Impact's third commemorative Music. OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 3, will be released during version 3. Is this like physical? Ooh. I know some this travelers albums, have been highly anticipated. Like vinyls you can get. The album includes three oh. discs by the Hoyo Mix team which contain the original music of version 3.0 to version That would be really nice to have a vinyl. This album will include music from storyline videos and animations as well as version specific events. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so <laughs> excited for this. Wait, so that means that it should include music from the Sub Zero's Festival and the RNR. Nilu music. music? Right? Oh, yeah, I played RNR. Yeah, yeah, I bet some travelers <laughs> remember that event. Yeah, I remember. So good. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was really good. Repeat. The album will also feature music from the Wind Bloom Festival. <laughs> I'll do it soon, okay? Find Lace Fest, and even the music from our version 3.8 Valyria Mirage event. Let's check out a preview of the album. These always last like four seconds. Okay. This is beautiful. Man, this would be insanely peaceful to have on vinyl in your home. Just imagine cleaning to this. Cleaning your bedroom to this song. Oh, that's it. It's always like two seconds. I wish to give you a little taste of each. That'd be so good. Final code with our boy Wanderer, who is coming back instead of Zhang Li. I'm not mad or upset or disappointed or hurt. Welcome back, everyone. Hi, We've Dad. already introduced a bunch of exciting events. But do we have other updates for this version? Mm-hmm. We More. still have lots of content to introduce. Everything we've covered so far was related to the limited time map. We still have more surprises for you. Ah, right. Uh, let me see here. Uh, okay, this is my part. All right, then. 
Let's begin the third act of our story. Adventurers, treasures. She keeps Where speaking. What a strange. Place. <laughs> this is so goofy. Huh? Who are you two? <laughs> Look at his eyes. That's exactly what we'd like to ask you, Mister. So I usually skip this part. It's all right. I invited him here. Welcome to Bottle Land. Oh, man. This is Bottle Land? Yes, that's right. <laughs> all right. Could you then imagine news about the anime? Yeah, that would be pretty treasure. hype. It's right here on the. I doubt map. it, though. If you find it, then it's yours. Oh, wait, that's all there is to it? Really? Uh, She's like, I should have done it myself. Okay, then. What am I supposed to gain from this? I didn't expect I'd get the info so easily. <laughs> Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. The first event is called. Shared Wait, I feel so bad Sight. for blocking her this whole time, bro. In this event, travelers will assist the researcher who is collecting experimental data. We will need to use an go. item called the inscribed mirror. To I thought eventually they'd go over here. Animals in order to complete the experiment. <gasps> Wait, what? Travelers may use the device linked to the inscribed mirror to view the environment from the animal's point of view. We get use to be a dog. Oh! What you can see to figure out their location and Sorry. recover them. The second event is called Perilous Expedition. Ooh. Travelers will need to help a Liu adventurer study Sumeru's geography and hydrology. Ooh. Hydrology. I'm name, a hydrologist. This chat. will actually be a combat. Because I know about cool. wet. I love Hi. fighting combat. Me too. <laughs> hey, look! There's Zhang Li. The event, I'm glad he's on the banner right now. Explore each day, and we'll need to <sighs> fight our way through. Each exploration consists of three combat rounds. Okay. If the team compositions are varied enough, then a stackable buff will be activated. Each exploration has different challenges. This will be a great chance same for all, players same to test this. out different character combinations. I've had this kind of thing before. Let's do it. Yeah, I love how they like tease us with Zhongli after t not Our giving us him. Is called Adventurers Maybe 3.9 though. Advanced. The branch Be master of the Mondstadt Adventurers Guild has prepared new challenges to help train rookie adventurers. That's me! In the sequential trials, <laughs> you will need to pass three consecutive trial challenges Dude, what in a single run. As for fortuitous trials, Three trial challenges will be randomly generated after you enter the oh, domain. We just playing basketball. <laughs> there will be a variety of fun mini games. We play in basketball. Such as flying and collecting adventure coins while dodging attacks, kicking slimes into the goal. Yeah, we saw similar one of this a couple months ago. Oh, I and love kicking <laughs> slimes. <laughs> These poor slimes, man. <laughs> but that's not all. Genius Invocation TCG I mean, will also I love TCG. be receiving an update. Yes. Any TCG ears in chat? Cards will be One in chat for a TCG year. Game mode called the Forge Realms Temper Endless Swarm will be available in version 3.8. Different stages There's a scene will for it. special rules with different buffs and a variety of opponents to battle against. Defeat these opponents to increase your score. <laughs> There's like one okay, one in chat. <laughs> I get it. So travelers will need to I pit can't. their well-constructed decks against That was some pretty big hits there from Candace. amount of rounds. The more enemies Is she you a good defeat, card? The more points you earn. That's right. What's the meta right now? <laughs> well, that covers everything we have for version 3.8. Yay! That's it. <laughs> that felt like two seconds. Let's I guess it's been an that. hour. <laughs> Maybe a little under. Jeez, man, that went by well, so quick. Our story about the Bottleland expedition. I love you, you That's a whole lot of woman. Wait, ready? Wait, wait, wait. But what about our little mage? She still hasn't returned since she left. Come home, on, right? man. Oh, Show me some right. Fontaine. Yeah. Oh, it's show me some good anime. The mage saved the parched adventurer in the desert, and the adventurer led her on a wonderful journey. Oh, okay, oh, cool. You. That track. <laughs> well, tell me, did you enjoy this? Little yes, story? but I want to go to Fontaine, yeah, Mommy like, Alice, please. I like stories. Uh, it was okay. Please oh, take me there. What a tough crowd. But it's all right. I have <laughs> another a tough crowd. tale that I'll share once everyone has finished discussing their impressions from today. Well, okay. looks like it's what? that time again. What did you all think about being on the special program today? Anything you're particularly Everybody wait, pause, hold on. Version 3.8? Everybody hold your pauses. As a teaser, you could say that the Secret Summer Paradise event is a gift that Alice made for her daughter, Bite this cup. And I hope everyone can enjoy the adorable adventure and enjoy all the fun updates in this version. Like... The sticky oh. finch balls. I love them. So Everybody, much. pause. Yeah, it's coming. I know. I, I can't wait for all of it. It all seems like so much fun. Um, I think my favorite's got to be the new outfits. I mean, oh Kaya's outfit. Kaya, true. That's kind of base. They are so and cute. Oh, I can't. I love them. 
I love them. You guys just listed some of my favorites. She's like, I'm glad I'm finally like back in this game. Chicken slimes. <laughs> and the I, fact that yes. we're all coming back. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Take it long enough. I know. All right. Oh That's all God. we have for today's special program. We hope to see everyone enjoying the new in-game event. It's coming. Trust me. It's Bye. coming. It's coming. Bye, Come. Everybody. It's coming. Bye. Come on. Wait, wait. Everybody pause. Everybody pause. then, let me tell you all a tale. Yes. It's a cute yes. story. I hope it'll appear in your slumbering dreams tonight. What? Hmm. I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. Here we go. In oh. the nation of justice, <gasps> there is a yeah! little upstanding Melazine. Yeah! She is considered to be one of the most what? diligent in her That's duties. That's a bunny? Even among her kin. Bro. Look how hard she's working for justice in this nation, even today. It looks so good. Don't let this little Melazine size fool you. What she lacks in size, she makes up for in her sense she's of justice. She's so tiny. Bolstered oh, by this her looks so good. She patrols Fleuve Sandra fearlessly by herself. The like Anyone sewer area. Appears, such as an unknown outlander. Oh. <laughs> To watch We're gonna afternoon. swim. But before anything suspicious occurs, <sighs> the just little Melazine will never act without authorization. This is interesting. And if you an innocent person, well, it's a walrus well, dog. Truly, that is. Okay, so there's an attack under the water. I hope this movement isn't clunky. I'm a little worried about but the speed if of this. The upstanding outlander isn't careful and finds themselves caught up in some misunderstanding. This is so good. Then we can let the court decide. Oh, we're gonna go to jail. <laughs> we're about to be locked up in Fontaine, bro. And it's gonna be this little cat. This is gonna snitch on us, I guarantee. I'm calling it right now. Whatever that little thing was, it's gonna be the eyes and ears of the court. All right, Eula, I'm gonna go hang out with her. Thank you guys for coming out. Subscribe, come to the Twitch stream. I'll see y'all in the next one.